It was a busy week of fact checking for us here at Verify. Let's get you caught up on the biggest stories, including how much Olympic winners are paid, whether the government is scanning your text for COVID-19 misinformation, and if spray on sunscreen helps block the sun's rays as well as lotions. The Tokyo Olympics come to an end this Sunday. Each American who wins gold gets a bonus of $37,500. And one Verify viewer wanted to know if it's true that other countries pay more for taking home the top prize. So let's verify. Here are our sources. A bonus for winning gold isn't a requirement and the amount can vary. For example, Canada pays gold medalists the equivalent of 16,000 US dollars, while Singapore pays 740,000, the most of any country we could find. The Philippines celebrated its first ever gold medalist this year when Heidelin Diaz won a weightlifting contest. She'll receive about $200,000 from the Philippine Sports Commission, plus several hundred thousand dollars from private donors and a lifetime of free flights from two airlines. So it's true, some other countries do pay more for winning gold. I don't know about you, but I've been texting a lot with my friends about the games. And that brings us to a claim shared by some politicians on Twitter that the Democratic National Committee is monitoring text messages for COVID-19 misinformation. So let's verify. Here are our sources. The claim originated on Joe Rogan's podcast when he said text messages were being monitored for misinformation about the COVID-19 vaccine. Senator Josh Hawley then echoed the claim and alleged the DNC was behind the tracking. The CTIA, a cell phone company lobbying group, denies carriers are moderating content and says its members don't work with third parties that do so. The DNC did say it has a counter disinformation program where people can submit questionable texts. So it's false that the DNC is monitoring text messages for COVID-19 misinformation. Finally, if you're ready to take a break and spend some much deserved time in the sun, you'll definitely want to use sunblock. A verified viewer texted us asking if spray on sunscreens are as effective as lotions. So let's verify. Our sources are Harvard Health and two board certified dermatologists who explained it's more about how you apply sunscreen, not what you use. Researchers at Harvard Health found most people apply just a quarter of what they need when spraying. But when used properly, sprays can be just as effective. So it's true, spray on sunscreens are just as effective as lotions. Just make sure to take the time to rub it in after spraying. We have a lot more fact checks on our website, verifythis.com, and on our social media page, at Verify This, including claims about the CDC's eviction moratorium and a new NATO headquarters, and also whether a mask mandate is coming in Congress. To stay up to date on the latest stories we fact check, make sure to click that subscribe button and follow us on social media, at Verify This. I'm Brandon Lewis, and I'll see you soon with another story, Verified.